you guys and welcome to a new vlog we are in the final days of vlogmas the final days until christmas i have so much to do today so i figured i would try to vlog even though whenever i have a lot to do i always tend to forget to vlog because i try to just like do the shit that i need to do but i am going to vlog today because i have Oh, Sandy's crying for me. I have merch to pack up. I have presents that I need to buy and wrap. I just have so much to do, and I figured that we could turn this into a fun little vlogmas. Oh, there's Tundi. There's my baby. Oh my goodness. Hi. What a happy, excited puppy. Good girl, Rosie. If you guys were wondering the reason I don't wear black that often, I don't know if you can tell, probably not, but I have dog hair all over me now. But I would not have it any other way. Good catch! You sniff at me? <laughs> All right, you guys, I am bundled up in my New England gear and I'll show you my outfit. I'm wearing my Vlogmas crew neck under here, some jeans and this cute puffy cropped jacket. I forget where I got this, probably Forever 21 last year. It's time to go do some Christmas shopping and I also have to mail Timmy's Christmas package, so that is exciting. Okay, I'm done at the post office and I have quite a few packages and letters from you guys and I'm so excited to open those. First, I'm just gonna order a shake to pick up and then I still have a couple more errands to run before we actually get home and open those, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I didn't realize my music was playing. Good luck, nutrition. Hi, how are you? Good, I was just hoping I could place an order for pickup. No, we kinda close. <laughs> is currently going through my bags as she usually does when I get home. She loves to see what I bought and she knows that her toy is in there. But it's a Christmas present. Oh, I love her so much. You a good girl? That's for Christmas. That's your Christmas present. It's gonna be for Christmas. Actually, maybe I'll give her that one now. All right, Tundi's getting an early Christmas present. Ready? Let me rip this off. This. There you go. Actually, let me show them first. It's pink champagne. So freaking cute. There you go. Oh. I need to turn the freaking Christmas lights on in here. We only have a few days left to enjoy this. The Christmas vibes are immaculate. Tundi, that's the only toy in there for you. Sorry. Do you wanna go show everyone your toy? Hello? What's up? <laughs> oh my god, what are you doing? Um, just twist tying my bed. Nice, nice lights. Tundi wanted to show you her new toy. Um. 
I finally just finished my fancy vlog where I unboxed Gabby's new perfume, which is right here. I have been using it non-stop. I'm just so happy to finally have that vlog up. It came out so good and I'm just so happy with it. But the mail just came and I got my signed Stuck With You CD. So I think I'm gonna unbox it real quick. If you guys know, there is a pretty big controversy going on with these where all of the signatures kind of look identical. So I figured I would see which one I got. Moment of truth. I mean, I feel like the signature looks a little different than the ones I've been seeing going around. Like, I feel like the signatures look a little bit bigger on here. I don't know. I'm not like mad at it. It, lo it looks real. I don't know. I don't, honestly, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I feel like they look a tad bit different than the ones I've been seeing online. I honestly have no idea, but it comes with a stuck with you CD. It's a cute little sleeve and you can even build it into a little house. So that's kind of cute. And then it comes with this signed sleeve, which is really cute. I mean, it's cute. I'm not the biggest Justin Bieber fan. I had my days. I had my JB phase, trust me. I'm just not like a big fan anymore. I don't know. And this whole taking 9 million years to get these kind of just showed a little bit of unprofessionalness in my opinion on his part because we all know Ari signed them so long ago. Also, my mom got us these advent calendars. It is trolls because we were slackers and we're not prepared. So this was all that was left at the store. And I think I have like 15 or something pieces of candy to eat even though I just sprayed Gabby's perfume, but it's all good. <sighs> We're at Walmart, full squad. Interesting. What's that one? Walnut, almond, and creamy vanilla. They're coming for Bath and Body Works with that packaging though. I want this <laughs> one, cozy morning. Mm, they had like Merry Cookie though, I really want that one. Oh, iced cupcakes. Mmm, that's pretty good. Oh, they sell Yankee Candle here? Yeah. Did you just say that? Yeah. Vanilla cupcake is my favorite one. Do you think spiced cinnamon apples? <laughs> That's a good idea to get mom though. She likes cinnamon like apples. Oh, look at this bell ornament. That's cute. Oh, what the f That does not look like bell. Listen, I know what bell looks like. That is creepy. Oh, they have Harry Potter ornaments though. That's adorable. Oh my god, wait, that's so cool. I feel like I need this one. Depends how much it is. It looks pretty expensive. Okay, what should we look Oh, and the BB-8 one is cute. Oh, yay, we found the gingerbread houses. I want some Walmart ice. <laughs> some Walmart ice. Oh, this one's too Damn. Yeah, it's brown. They're really not playing. There's this little train one, there's this little one, and then there's that one. Oh, that's cute. I kind of like this one because it has a ton to do. Yeah, you want to do both? I do both. Ah. I'm at Target for the second time today, and I am not mad. <laughs> I wonder what my record amount of going to Target in one day is. For me, I feel like it's like four. Yeah. I kind of like this. Yeah, that's cute. Like for after Christmas to put on my bed, maybe? Yeah. $30, maybe not. I actually keep all of my Polaroids back here in my little REM crystals. It's literally the perfect size to hold Polaroids. So I have a whole bunch in here. And then I have my little photo strip. This is from my first ever sweetener tour show that I went to. They had this at a bar that we went to eat at before we went to the show. Me, Margot, and Tim, my best friends. They're so cute, I miss them. But yeah, definitely use your REM crystals for holding stuff. Then in my closet, I actually have my cloud perfume holder holding more Polaroids. We got one of Tundee Bear. Let's see what's in the back. My old room. Let's pull some random ones. Oh, my Get Well Soon crew neck. Me and Tundee Bear. Just some random pictures, but I love it. I totally suggest using these little Ariana perfume stands to hold some Polaroids. It's super cute. Good girl, I love you. All right, you guys. That is it for this portion of the vlog. I actually just made some snacks, some tea, and I'm getting ready for bed. I'm about to watch some Shameless because, of course, I'm obsessed with that show. And I'm wearing my Imagine hoodie from Honeymoon & Co. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I'm so 
grateful that they sent this to me. Like, oh my God, this is literally my new favorite thing in the whole world. I can't even. I made a little quesadilla because we had burgers for dinner. So I made like a Big Mac quesadilla. Mm, I'm so excited. I have some ranch to dip it in because I dip everything in ranch. And then this is actually for Tendi Bear. It's Tendi's little snack and she knows it. And then I have some tea in my elf mug, of course. I'm obsessed with this thing. So Tendi and I are going to eat our snacks and go to bed and I will catch up with you guys in the morning. Pretty sure I'm still wearing the same thing I was wearing yesterday when I ended this vlog. It's fine. I'm currently doing my laundry on my bed. I wanted to have all new sheets. So I'm about to go grab those, but somebody asked if they could see my meet and greet blanket, my Ariana Grande meet and greet blanket that my mom made for me last year for Christmas. And it's in the basement, it needs to be cleaned. I was just down there and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna vlog and show you this. So this week's shout out of the week goes to the person who asked. Shout out to you, I'm gonna go show you right now. Okay, here we have the iconic meet and greet blanket. This blanket is so dirty because I used it all summer to go to the beach and lay on and it was Tundi's blanket. So it needs to be washed so it'll look fresher because right now it's covered in dog hair. But this is the meet and greet blanket. Oh my God. It has me and Ari. My mom made this for me and I was like, oh, what's up? My mom made this for me for Christmas last year. I never would have thought that my mom would put it on a blanket, but it's so cute. But honestly, I paid $1,200 for this meet and greet picture. Like, I'm gonna put it on everything. I'm about to put it on a shirt. But yeah, that's the meet and greet blanket. You guys haven't seen it in a while. I don't think I've shown it since the summer when I was using it to lay on the deck or something. It's so cute, I love it. I just need to wash it and then I'll probably bring it back up in my room and use it as a throw blanket. The fish are all wondering why my camera is on their tank. I put it on the top of their tank so that I could um, film this. Let's say hello to the fish. Hi fishies. They're so cute. They're like, bitch, you're not gonna feed us. I'll give you guys a little snack. And you know what's cool? If you put your finger in, they'll literally like come right up to me. Ah, okay, except for there. They scared me. See, they come right up to my finger. That's so cool. Okay, anyway. Time to put these bed sheets on. You know what, I need to play some music. I haven't exactly been feeling in the Christmas spirit lately. I don't know, like since Christmas is coming so fast, I'm like having trouble accepting it. And I feel like I'm just not in the Christmas spirit. So we about to Christmasify this bitch up. I'm gonna burn, tis the season. And if this candle can't get me in the mood, I don't know what can. Just opening this up and smelling this candle is like the best thing in the world. So good. And Gabby's perfume has honestly been, oops, Tundi just barged right in. Hi, baby. Gabby's perfume has been the best Christmassy scent. This is definitely going to be what I'm wearing all winter because it is so good. Literally smells like a sugar plum cake. Let's see, let's play my Christmas playlist. It probably has some good stuff. I can't play too much of this though because my last two videos have gotten copyright over like 10 seconds of a song. Bed is made and little Miss Tundy Bear is just so cute resting on her bed. I'm feeling so lazy today. I don't even have a tea with me. Like what is wrong with me? I need to go make tea. We have quite a few things to open today. The first order of business is a pink package that came from King Timmy. This is his merch that I ordered. He did send me one, which you guys have been seeing hanging up on my closet. But I did order a shirt on launch day, of course, because I wanted to support him. So let's see what we got in here. And I ordered an ornament because as I said, I wanna put one on every tree. I have one on my tree, Maddie and Morgan have one. This ornament will be going on our tree downstairs. This is what I'm most excited for. The iconic Timmy Hilton New York City selfie long sleeve shirt. I am absolutely obsessed with this. I ordered a bigger size so that I can kind of like sleep in it at night. And it says Timmy Hilton on the back. It is just 
everything I have dreamed of and more. And then of course, he wrote a little card and it says, thank you for the support, boo. Love you, my sativa stallion. Oh my God, because I call him Indica Princess. It's a long story. So go check out Timmy's merch. I will have him linked down below. I believe that this shirt is sold out actually, but if you want to sign up for email alerts, he will definitely be alerting you when more products are coming. I am so excited to see what he has in store. Next up, we have quite a few packages and letters from my P.O. box. Ooh, I see a familiar name, Pam. I'm gonna start this randomly. First, I'm gonna open this little package that's right in front of me. By the way, guys, when you're sending packages, make sure you ask your parents to help you with the proper postage, just because sometimes they come and they don't have postage, and luckily my post office is really cool and they'll always hold it for me, but if you don't pay the postage, sometimes I might not get it, so just make sure that you guys ask your parents and maybe have them help you put the right amount of stamps and stuff on, just because I don't want to miss out on anybody's letters, and if you've sent me a letter and it hasn't gotten to me, that might be why. So let's open this first one up. Oh my god, wait, what is this? This is so cute. It has, I'll Let me read the letter first, and then we'll get into um, everything else. First things first. Oh my god, what the heck? They sent me $5. Oh, stop it. Oh my gosh. Okay, it says, Dear Amber, my boo. It's me, Grande X Emery. I have watched your videos since you met Ari. I just want to tell you, you are one of the sweetest human beings I have ever met, and you are beautiful without makeup. Not gonna lie, kind of sad you didn't do my truth or drink question, but it's fine. <laughs> Anyways, I love you, and I hope you enjoy the gifts. Your boo, K. So cute, oh my god. A little zipper pouch. And then we have a Mary Kay face mask, I think. And then she put in these tiny little Disney stickers. These are so cute. Thank you, I can't even get over this. Like this is so cute and your letter is so cute. I'm so sorry I did not answer your truth or drink question, but I hope that opening this letter can be suffice. I can't even believe she sent me $5, I cannot. Next up we have this little package here that says please open on camera. Camera. Look at this adorableness. I love the ribbon. It is so cute. Oh my gosh. Stickers. Look at these. Okay, so we have a dog mom sticker. It is so cute. We have an imagine sticker, a Harry Potter sticker, and a seven rings sticker. Oops as I drop them all. Oh my God, there's one more. And an amber sticker. That is so adorable. And then we have a cute little gray card here and it says, hey Amber, I have been watching your videos for two years now and I decided to send you a Merry Christmas two year package. I know you love the song Imagine so I made you something. I also made something for Tundi and added something from my small business. Everything in this package is handmade. I hope you love them. From Mui. That is so cute. I know you have been interested in small businesses lately so I decided to send you tie dye socks from my business. The business is we make tie-dye on Instagram and on Depop so definitely go check them out oh my gosh these are so cute I am so excited to wear these my favorite color too I can't then we have oh my gosh look at this it says imagine a world like that and it's hand stitched and it's a cute little bag my granny you guys know i always talk about my granny my great grandmother who passed away who i was super close with she always hand stitched stuff like let me show you when i was a kid this was my stocking we just found this recently in the basement and my granny hand stitched my name on it this is just making me so nostalgic and it just reminds me so much of my granny and especially with my favorite song on it i can't even and then this is another little hand stitched stitched Tundi, this is a toy for you. Let's show Tundi. This is a toy that somebody made for you. What do you think? It's a little toy for you. <laughs> She's like, what is this? Oh, what do you got? Is that your new toy? That was such a sweet and thoughtful gift. Shout out to Mui. Thank you so much. And I will definitely have their shop linked down below. Check it out for all of your tie dye needs. So next up we have a couple letters. First, I'm gonna open the letter from Pam. And she always puts the cutest stickers on her envelopes. Of course, a German Shepherd card. At least I think it's a German Shepherd. It looks kind of like a German Shepherd. It looks like it could maybe possibly be a Corgi too. I don't know. Merry Christmas, Amber and Tundra. This isn't strictly a Christmas card, but when I saw it, I had to send it to you. Thank you for all your videos. They make my day and I enjoy everyone. I hope you and your family have a great day and may the new year bring great changes for all of us. You are appreciated. Love, Pam and Boris. 
so adorable thank you so much and let's read the back on the back it says after 9 11 there was a police boat that brought victims families from the family assistance center at the piers and took them to ground zero woody rode on that boat twice a week he knew his job was to be brave and to be strong for the grieving families some family members told woody about their loved one some held him and wept he knew they needed him woody was a registered pet partners therapy animal from 1999 to 2005 that's such a cute story so this dog's name is woody and he was very helpful for a lot of people who are going through some bad shit. that is really cool the more you know then we have another letter here oh my gosh there's some pictures of ariana some pictures from the grammys and we have a sticker of a beautiful bike with some cute flowers in there and then we have another grammys photo another grammys photo that's the theme of this package and another sticker oh my gosh a unicorn sticker dear amber every time i see one of your notifications i smile i love your videos you and ari inspire me so much my favorite videos you make are your vlogs ariana related videos and your drunk get ready with me videos one of my top three favorite videos you made was the truth or drink video Ooh, please give tiny bear a hug for me xo XO, Ismail or Junior. Oh, that is so cute. I just love reading your letters and just hearing from you guys and hearing like how you found me or what your favorite videos are of mine. It just, it honestly makes me really happy. Last one we have here also says open on camera. Oh my gosh, and on the front it says congratulations on 16,000 subscribers. That is so cute. Dear Amber, happy holidays. Hope the season is well for you. I saw this pop socket and it reminded me of the rainbow on the side of Ariana Grande's face and I think it was no tears left to cry regardless it's cute anyways happy christmas to you and yours love kier that is adorable i'm obsessed with this card and then in the back she says p.s i got a tundra shirt well i hope you are enjoying your tundra shirt me and tundi appreciate it so much and let's see this pop socket oh my gosh this is so pretty it really does look like the rainbow that was on her face that is so cute oh my gosh thank you so much i love pop sockets with everything in me you guys know no, I'm just obsessed with having a pop socket on my phone. I just love having it there and especially because the mount in my car is a pop socket holder. But oh my gosh that is so sweet. Shout out to all my boos who sent me letters or packages or whatever. Thank you. It literally means so much to me. But please do not spend too much money or send me your money. Like please. I love you and I just want to hear from you and read your letters and if you have pictures of like you or things you love feel free to send that as well. You guys are just so thoughtful so thank you so much. Okay, we are in the car. It is time for a little mini drive with me. I'm so excited to get some Starbucks. Shout out to Cadence. She is the reason we are going to Starbucks today. Cause I'm like, what can I use this $5 for that will benefit all of us? And well, as much as you can't have the drink, you can watch me drink it and maybe that will be entertaining. I don't know. Let's see how long the Starbucks line is. I hope it's not that long. Starbucks is usually hopping, especially at this time of day, I feel like uh, it's a normal sized line. This is like how long the line is every time I come here. Oh, my favorite song. Good girl, Tiny Bay. I know I'm being on some bullshit. bullshit. Act so possessive and crazy. crazy. But I know it's just because you love me. And you always get to show me you're ugly. Every time I vlog, people are like, what is this bitch doing? Like, they think I'm filming their car or something. And I'm like, honey, no. I think I know what I'm going to get. I'm not gonna get tea because I could make tea at home. I'm gonna get the peppermint mocha latte. Cause on my last video when I went to Starbucks, you guys had commented your favorite Starbucks drinks down below. And the peppermint mocha was by far the number one comment that I got that people loved. There was a ton of other good drinks in there, but I definitely wanna try that one. I could get the sweet cream cold foam on it too. We'll just get the peppermint mocha because I also don't want to have a stomach ache later. The new Christmas menu at Starbucks looks so good. I haven't been here in a while, but they have like green border all around everything and it looks so cute. The person behind me definitely probably thinks I'm filming them. I feel so bad. I'm not filming you, I promise. I'm just a vlogger. Hi, can I please have a grande hot peppermint mocha? Yeah, no, that's it. Yay. It's gonna be my first time trying a peppermint mocha. And also the reason why I wanted to try this is because it's one of my grandma's favorite drinks. Actually, it's probably my grandma's favorite Starbucks drink. Starbucks is pricey as f though. Like 562 for this better be good. 562. Thank you, you can Thank keep the change. You. Here you go. Thank you, you. have a good one. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna pull over and try this drink real quick before we safely proceed home. First order of business, I brought Tundi a cookie. Here's the baby, I brought you a cookie. All right, we got the goods. Cute little Christmas Starbucks cup moment. <sighs> Look at the whipped cream on top. So cute, it has little flakes of chocolate on it. 
All right, moment of truth, people. Mmm. That is so good. It literally tastes like peppermint hot chocolate. Like I can barely taste the coffee. Mm, that is so good. Shout out to everyone who told me to get this. And of course, shout out to my grandma who has been getting this drink for years. Mm, so good. I am so happy that I tried that. I changed into King Timmy's merch. It is so comfy. Oh, I'm obsessed. And now it is present wrapping time. I got this adorable new wrapping paper at Target. It's just like simple red Christmas trees and I think that it's so cute. First, I'm going to wrap this present for my parents. It's times like these where I miss having a rug because my knees hurt already. If you guys don't wrap presents that often, I will give you a quick little easy tutorial. So you're gonna wanna put whatever you're wrapping face down so that way all the tape and stuff is kind of like on what's gonna be the bottom of the present. So first I take one side of the wrapping paper and I bring it over like this. And you could tape it if you want to get it to stay. And then I bring the other piece over. I try to keep it really tight. On a present this big, maybe you wanna put a couple pieces of tape. Maybe you want a little bit farther back. I take the sides and I kind of fold it in like this and like really, oops. I ripped it. And I do the same thing over here. I just kind of fold it in like so. And then I just pull this piece up. Sometimes I'll like fold it like this maybe. And then I take a nice piece of tape and I put it like this. And I'll probably put two since it's a little bit of a bigger present. I love this wrapping paper. It looks so freaking cute and simple. That's the present all wrapped. Ooh, I could put this cute little like stuff on it that Honeymoon Co. put on my gift. Let's see if it fits. Oh my gosh, it's like a perfect fit. It looks kind of ugly, but whatever. Always make sure to cross out the price on the gift. I'm not a person who cares. Like if I see a price, I do not care at all. Like I don't think anything of it, but it's just nice to not have the person thinking about how much you spent on them. On gifts like this where there's like a tab that's gonna cause kind of a problem with the wrapping paper, I'll usually tape the tab down. Also, anyone who gets a gift from me, there's probably Tundi hair in it. The other way that you can do the edges like this are to kind of close them into two triangles. And then I'll push this side down, flatten out the other side, fold it over like this, and then lift it up and it's kind of perfect. Tape that sucker up real good. And then you can do the same thing to the other side. Was that another price tag? Jesus Christ, how many price tags were on this thing? I don't have bows though, but you know what? I'm kind of over bows. I hate wasting them. They're so pretty, but I hate having to throw them all away on Christmas morning. Oh, that peppermint mocha is so good. So wrapping candles is still pretty easy. Actually, I haven't wrapped a candle in a while, so I'm a little bit nervous. I am going to lay the candle down and wrap it this way. I don't know if this is the smartest way to do it, but this is the way that I'm gonna do it. This one I should definitely put a bow on because it's so ugly, oh my God. So that's one of the candles, not my best work, but it'll do. Okay, you guys, this next present is for my family. So if you are my family, please skip over this part. So hopefully my family's gone, but let me show you what I made for them. Oh, okay, are you ready for this? I present to you the rosy t-shirt. So I had these made for Christmas because my mom said she really wanted a rosy t-shirt since we have the tundra ones that look like this and my mom loves wearing them. So I made a pink one for my mom and then I made a gray one for Jason, Morgan, and my dad. So I'm very excited to wrap these up and give them to them for Christmas. I'm on FaceTime with King Timmy. Hey guys, what's good? Wrapping presents, chilling. Yes, he's in my pile of presents right now. <laughs> Loves it. <laughs> we got quite the mess here. And then this is what we have so far for presents that I wrapped. Quite a few. 